a very warm welcome to you wherever you are watching from around the world to beautiful Denmark, a country that is of course known for its culture and its tourism and its wonderful architecture. But this week it's also going to be known for something else because it is the staging venue for one of the biggest events on the badminton calendar. That is the BWF World Championships of 2023, all happening right here in the capital city Copenhagen and at the beautiful Royal Arena. Four courts in action as we kick off the week. It's going to be seven days of electrifying badminton. And this is the order of play for court two as we kick off the action on day one. We're going to be starting with the women's singles. Vivian Sandohazi making her debut for Hungary against Go Jinwei from Malaysia. That will be followed by the mixed doubles. The Canadian pair of Nil Yakura and Crystal Lai taking on Yang Po Suan and Hu Ling Fang from Chinese Taipei. Women's singles after that, going to Lin taking on the former champion, Zomi Okuhara. And the mixed doubles will follow that, and that's going to be a tight match. Kaneko and Matsutomo taking on Ferdinand and Rijaja from Indonesia. More doubles after that. Women's this time, the Ukrainian pair of Stolyarenko and Zhaka taking on Li Chia Sin and Teng Chun Sun from Chinese Taipei. As we move through the order, be men's singles after that. One of the highest seeds we're going to be seeing this morning, Chao Tian Chen, number 10 seed in the men's singles, taking on Kevin Corden from Guatemala. More singles after that, Kisona Salvadurai from Malaysia, taking on Pai Yu Po from Chinese Taipei. And then the big match that pretty much everyone's been looking forward to on day one, Lizzy Jia from Malaysia, the men's singles, taking on the number five seed, Jonathan Christie. And after that, it's the Azerbaijan doubles pair of Dwi Chayo taking on, and Ko Wimura Mardoni. The men's doubles taking on Jomko and Kedron from Thailand. McPherson and Torrance in the women's doubles taking on Ia and Somerville from Australia after that. And then a couple of men's singles matches to round off court two action. Ng Ziyong from Malaysia taking on China's Zhao Junpeng. And that will be followed by Kidambi Srikanth. Men's singles taking on the number 14 seed, Kenta Nishimoto. So looking at the draw for the women's singles, a lot of these seeds have, uh, of course, received buys into the second round. So the winner of this match that we're about to watch to kick off court two's action is going to play An Se Yong. That's a tough ask indeed. And as you can see, Bei Wan Zhang, the recent winner from the Australian Open, also given a buy into round two. And she will face either Kirsty Gilmore or Lian Tan. That's all in the top half of the draw. But to kick off the action, here we go. Vivian Sander Horsey making her debut at the World Championships against Go Jinwei. Players should be ready to enter the arena very soon. Wonderful week of badminton ahead and uh, really well represented as well. 367 players or pairs from 54 countries. It truly is an international spectacle. Women singles from Hungary, Vivian Sandahasi. There she is, Vivian Sander Horsey. Not only making her debut this week at the World Championships, but also coming up in a lift, which we've seen. Wonderful way for the players to enter the arena. She's facing from Malaysia, Go Jin Wei. And Go Jin Wei. Very well known name, of course, in women's singles especially in the early part of her career. Very, very successful on the junior circuit. In fact, a double junior world champion. And since then, has run into a couple of problems in her career in terms of fitness and health. Umpire, That's court number one. Can I go she's now making her way back. So she's going to be looking forward to hopefully a good run here in Copenhagen this week. Ready for the coin toss. Hello. And as you can see, first meeting between these players. So go, black or red, what do you choose? Black, red for you, Vivian. Red, your choice. You stay that side. 
serve, receive, so you're serving. So with the coin toss out of the way, quick warm up as always for both players. Coaching away, 23 years old now, born in the island state of Penang in Malaysia. This, of course, created quite a few badminton champions. Chong Wei, of course, Lo Kian Yu, in fact, born in Penang. Currently ranked 35, has been as high as 24, but as I said, very successful on the junior circuit. Double gold medalist at the World Junior Championships in 2015 and 2018. So a gold medalist at the Youth Olympic Games 2018. And double medalist at the SEA Games as well, 2015 and 2017. That was, as I said, the start of her career. And since then, she has had to battle a lot of fitness issues, as I said, a lot of surgeries as well. As for Vivian Sander Horsey, one of 10 players making their debut at the World Championships this week, 22 years old from Budapest in Hungary, currently ranked 65th in the world. She's going to be absolutely raring for this one. She's had an OK 2023 so far. It's a quarterfinal at the quarterfinals at the Polish Open. Third spot at the Uganda International. But as I said, one of 10 players that is making their debut this week. From Australia, Brazil. And there's our umpire, Yasan Sairaili from Mauritius. Joined by our service judge, Fabio Beto from Italy. As I said, 10 players making their debut, their first ever appearance here from 10 different countries. Australia, Brazil, Chinese Taipei, Hungary, Ireland, Mexico, Peru, Singapore, and Switzerland. Wonderful to have so many different nations represented. As I said, 54 countries at the start of this tournament. Quite a big arena here, the Royal Ready Arena. In practice, the conditions have been quite slow, but manageable. And ready to get underway here. question here I guess is going to be the enthusiasm and the hunger of the debutante against the experience of a player very much on the comeback trail in Go Jun Wei. But as you can imagine nerves for both players to kick hey. off the action this week. Ladies and gentlemen, am I right? Vivian Sandor Hazi, Hungary. And on my left, Go Jin Wei, Malaysia. <laughs> Vivian Sandor has it to serve. La ball. Play. Nice opening point. Over. One love. Jin Wei takes it. Play left. Go. Wait for eye contact. Oh, a bit of nerves being shown Service by over. Jin Wei. One all. First we saw it from the serve now a little getting up a little bit gingerly oh that was an Go. awkward slip okay. oh she still hasn't quite gotten up from that go you need need the doctor well that is unfortunate two points in and Go Jin Wei might need some medical attention immediately. Okay. Play. 
No, I think she's going to walk it off. Some good pressure from Sander Hazi. Two, one. Good kill from Three, Sander Hazi at one. the net. Well, this match has started off at a good tempo. That's a wonderful drop in at the Two, left side three. for Jin Wei. She's an exceptional shot maker, always has been. Another great point so far this match, with the exception of that slip from Jin Wei that did look a little bit troubling, but she seems to have run that off. Apart from that, it's been good, fast action. And that might be the difference here. He has to keep those unforced errors in check. Five, three. That's a nice winner from the Hungarian. Four, five. Who's standing her ground well so far in this opening game. Nice round the head cut into mid-court. Five is all. Well, so far she's stepping up to the challenge pretty well. Service over, six, five, change. Oh, that's a wonderful drop over, into the front six, court. Old. The other thing you have to mention about Vivian Sander Horsey is she actually plays in three disciplines. Women's doubles and mixed doubles exponent as well. She hasn't just played in them, but has actually picked up titles. All three as well at the junior international level. Twelve titles all in all. The young Hungarian. Attack there. Good angle. Seven. She takes the lead. Six. Just out for Jin Wei. No, Jin Wei. Challenges called out. So, first challenge of the day on court two. I have to say that did look out. That gives Jin Wei a couple of seconds at least just to start. Looking at that nerves issue, that still looks like it might be plaguing her a little bit. Anyway, here comes the challenge. And as suspected, challenge out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 
8-6, play. So after being level pegged for this first game, first two-point lead. And it's to Sander Hazi, immediately cut back by Service Jin Wei. 7-8. And that's gone wide. Service over, 9-7. Great defense from Sandahazi. Couldn't make it the second time, but that body defense not easy. It's Nova Armada. Agent Way's coach. Came back too high, and it was an easy kill for Jinwei. But this is really good performance from Xander Horzin in terms of digging out some of these recovery shots from just in front of the net. Reflex defenses, just that last one coming back too high. Again, that was great play from the Hungarian. So Approaching the mid-game interval. And so far, been nicely, evenly balanced. Great. Over. And a shot from Go Jin Wei. And that's where she might be able to find a lot of points, just in these... Wonderful drop shots that she's so great at executing. 11-10 interval. So she goes in ahead at the interval. 11-10 to the Malaysian. So after some choice words from their coaches back on court and it's good to see Go Jinwei moving a little bit more fluidly after that scare at the second point. Just for a second, it did look like she was having some troubles with her ankle. Shot. Nice space found by Jinwei. So far, it's really been exactly as I called it at the beginning. Just that exuberance and enthusiasm from the debutante. Sander Hazi is pushing the tempo 13, and the pace, and it's that 10. pace that has just unsettled Jinwei a bit. But still, quality of her shots coming through. And there's another one. 14, 10. Has this great ability to just get that shuttle to dip so viciously just as it passes the net line there. For the kill. Service over 11 14. So a chance for Sandahazi to get back. Just drop back three points now. A good burst from Jinwei. 
Play. Rescued that 12, really 14. well, but just couldn't quite get it to connect. Unlucky bounce off the tape. Well, it was a nice idea, difficult shot. 15-12. Good enough from Sandahazi, that over. down the line. 13, 15. Service over. So she's just 16, rushing 13. it a bit too much now, Sandahazi, just giving a little... Too much space, you could think, to go Jin Wei. Tabi Silva, 14, 16, wipe the court, please. Again, these bounces off the tape so far favoring Sandohazi. There's another one. Go, go. Show where to wipe. Thank you. Thank you. Height advantage 16. that she has, really getting on top of it, hooking it down. The second one works. Akos Kirali, our coach. Service over 17 15. Go. You want to change? No. Play on. She's making a good fight of it, Sandohazi. 17-15. That's a wonderful winner from 18, Jin Wei. 15. from Jin Wei. One of the criticisms of 18. Jin Wei, of course, has always been that she isn't the tallest of players. But she makes up for that with some good court movement, and that's what we saw in those last few points. Yeah, couple that up with this incredible shot-making ability. And we've got, 17, when it works, 18. quite a formidable opponent. But that was a nice idea from Sander Hazi just to lob it over to the backcourt. Needs this point, the Hungarian. Again, there's one of those shots straight to 19, deep 17. in front court. Just the right angle. That's what's been keeping Jin Wei ahead. Have a look at this. Just picks it up so nicely. And then the trajectory of that, almost impossible to retrieve. Wonderful cross-court winner from 
Vivian Sanazi. So the front court really game point benefiting Jin Wei, and she gets a couple of game points here. Play let. Game. Well, first game, Chin Wei takes the first Jinwei, game. 21, but you have to say, not as comfortably as a lot of people would have thought. Good fight from Sandazi. Hosszú szerve, egyszer, kétszer mehet, most egyet nem értünk el, de a többiből több úgy volt. nagyjából kijöttél, yeah. jobban belül. Yeah. Oké, okay. kell az, hogy mozogjon sokat, fáradjon sokat, ami nem lesz egyszerű, van a labdátek eleje, ami nehéz általában, hogy ott kijöjjünk belőle. Utána már úgy nagyjából megvan a játék, de a labdát eleje az nehéz, neked is fáradsz. Yeah. Jó? Tehát uh, kicsit könnyített magad, ha szervet jobban vagyunk. Code 2, 20 seconds. Code 2, 20 seconds. So back on court for the second game. We're on court two. It's opening match between Vivian Sanderhorsey and Go Jin Wei. It's good to see Sanderhorsey, the debutant, taking it all in her stride so far. Got to remember the biggest stage. Play. She's acquitted herself pretty well in that first game. The question is now, can she just take it that extra step? Try and secure the second, take it to a third. Way here. Oh. Three low. Sander Halsey just has to settle herself a bit. Oh. It's a late take. Four. Love. And Jin Wei, through her experience alone, and of course playing what looks like the better side in terms of drift, has raced off to a four-love lead. Five, love. Well, struggling, Sander Halsey from this side of the court. Clear winner. Love. Backhand side. Let's have a look at the way she just snaps into that action. Seven. Love. Oh, Jin Wei is absolutely relishing that side of the court, hitting freely, left and right. 
finding that backcourt with ease. That's a good One, way to stop seven. that run of points. Straight to the body. From Vivian. Just Nine, one. a couple of feet wide. On that forehand side, switches to the backhand side. She's just having a bit of trouble right now Nine, with those tram lines. One. So, 10 1. Service over to 10. A deep lift serve. Too long. For Jin Wei and a chance before we get to the mid-game interval for Sander Horsey to cut into this great start. Three, ten. Oh, that was a wonderful shot. Service over. Eleven three in turbo. Just trying to be too delicate from the backcourt. It's a very difficult shot that she attempted. So, 11-3. Much to do in the second game for Sander Harzi. For two twenty seconds. For two twenty seconds. Yeah. No, for Armada, quite happy, I think, with this second game. And I'm sure any coach would be a score like that. 11 3. 11 3. Play. Over. Nice winner Four, from Sanazi. Good reply. Five, eleven. Just long from Jinwei. from Jin Wei, that that over. acute 12, angle over the net. Five. Just drew Sander Horsey in, left all that space on the right side. So she's well. making some inroads in this second game. Just get the feeling, though, that that early burst of points from Jin Wei may be too much. Six-point lead. She's certainly played enough badminton in her career, Jin Wei, to that know how over. to defend 13, that. Six. Saying that, Service over seven. If Sander can come up with winners like that to the cross court, then maybe she has got a great chance. That's wonderful technique. Oh. Oh, snap back that return Service down the line, Jin Wei. 14, 7. 
So now, in addition to these wonderful drop shots that have been working for her, she can say that those down the line smashers working for Jinwei as well. Cross court winners. Frequent enough for Sanazi to keep her in the game. But she just feels she might need a bit more. Nine, 14. One thing we have to say about the debutant is she really has pulled in her unforced errors since the first game. It's keeping quite tight and compact in terms of her output. Service over, 15, nine. Winner from Jinwei. 16, 9. Wow. Service over, 10, 16. Quick points, but a great exhibition of some winners from both ladies right now. Jinwei really looking to get on the attack at the earliest possible opportunity and now closing in not just the second game but the match seven point lead there's another one of those great cross court drops I just get the feeling this might be where Sandahazi has to make her stand really can't allow Jinwei to get up to 18 19 12, 17. She's closing up. Oh. 13, 17. That's a great run of points. Remember, she was 11 3 down. So, Nazi. Great return 14, off that. 17. Right side, mid-court. Jin Wei keeps leaving that space. Sandahazi has now put at least three or four winners in there. Javi Silva, 18, 14. Well, the way this match has been playing out, Jin Wei has a great opportunity here off this serve. Relying on that drop shot, so things rapidly coming to a close here if Jin Wei can stay in this line of attack. 20 match oh, points. Again, beautiful 14. shot into the backcourt, and it's six match points. Service over. Saved. 15 20. Wow, she was out of position, Sandahazi, and with that good burst of energy from Go Jin Wei, she takes the match. 21-18, 21-15 in 30 minutes. Okay. Good performance from Jin Wei to kick off our World Championship run. And So Yong awaits next, of course. That's going to be a very tough match, but... So you've got to be the best, you've got to beat the best. And as for Vivian Sandahorzi, that's confirmation of it. 21-18, 21-15, a good first run at the World Championships. And I'm sure she'll take away some great memories from this opening match.
So coming up next, it's the mixed doubles, the Canadian pair Crystal Lai and Nil Yakura taking on Yang Po Swan and Hu Ling Fang from Chinese Taipei. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>